Today, I need to tidy this house up. We're getting ready to go on a little adventure <laughs> a couple days away, and uh, we're using up one of the last of our, well, we have a couple like Disney passes left, so we're, go we're headed back to Orlando to finish up our trips, and we're excited about it, but I always like to come home from a trip to a tidy house. And that's exactly my mission today is just to tidy this place up so I don't come home and feel overwhelmed and feel like, oh my gosh, I have to clean everything. I'm showing you all the befores. Okay, I know there are crumbs everywhere. How does rice get in this drawer? I'll never know. I have my suspicion. I have some conspiracy theories, but I, I have no idea how this happened. I mean, I know I do. I have a lot of kids. Things happen. This is a mess, but we're going to tidy it up today. That's my mission and I'm excited about it showing you the before so you don't feel too bad about the state of your house. And I'm excited to tell you that this video is kindly sponsored by Blue Land. Huge thanks to them. Huge thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. I've been using Blue Land products for the better part of this year. And every time I've introduced a new Blue Land cleaning product in my house, I've really enjoyed it. You guys have been along for the ride. Blue Land offers a multitude of cleaning products in reusable packaging that's convenient, effective, and affordable my top three favorite things in life. I'm all about doing my best to save the environment and save money. And with Blue Land, that's exactly what I do. There is zero plastic waste and the packaging of the refills is even recyclable. Awesome. The cleaning products are naturally derived and they're hypoallergenic and sourced from vegan and non-GMO ingredients. It doesn't get any easier than this to have better products for your family and better products for the environment. They are super simple to use. These are the all-purpose cleaners. You guys, I buy this stuff with my own money too, okay? That's how much I enjoy it. This is just a cleaning tab. You fill it up to the line with water, throw in the tab, let it dissolve, and it'll do its thing. It'll work its magic. I save even more money because I buy in bulk. These are all my Blue Land cleaning products that I use all around my house. They have laundry tabs I use in the laundry room. They have dishwasher tablets. I throw them in the dishwasher. And the tablets are proven to perform on baked on, burnt on stains, laundry tablets, same thing, proven to lift the toughest stains off your laundry. And the laundry and dishwasher tablets that I was using before were wrapped in plastic. Come to find out, it's not only bad for the environment, it's horrible for my septic tank. They even have hand soap, foaming hand soap, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, this time around, I got the Dishwasher Duo and Laundry Starter Set. They sell sets on Blue Land, which is a great way to start out. And then from there, you can just buy the refills in bulk, or you can even set up a subscription on Blue Land's website. The subscriptions are customizable and convenient, so you never run out of your most used products. I think you're really going to enjoy Blue Land's products. They are fantastic. You can take my word for it. We've been friends for a while. Have you seen uh, Blue Land on Shark Tank? I watched the video and I was blown away. It really does save so much space. They smell great and they're effective. If you are interested, you can check out Blue Land. And hey, there's always a deal. You can get 15% off your first kit. Uh, using my special offer just for you and my link is in the description box below and it'll be on screen right here check them out I really think you're going to be impressed so let's tidy up this kitchen okay let's get on to it I was trying to make a list of things that I needed to clean around the house today and my kitchen cabinets were top of the list so that's where I'm gonna start out uh, I usually don't start in the kitchen I don't know because I feel like you see me clean it when I do like around the house but I don't always clean my cabinets hey so there's that uh, you're seeing something new and inside my drawers oh my gosh they're so disgusting I don't even know well I do know but like bleh, I don't want to know you know you know so <laughs> um what was I just gonna say hey you know it's been uh poking around on my social media in sync is anyone more pumped than you I'm pretty sure that's that's true right are you pumped about it I mean, I don't even really know what's going on. I do kind of know. Well, if you don't know, first of all, they were like all together at the VMAs presenting an award, blah, blah. Who even watches the VMAs? I don't know. Who, I don't have time. But I did see a highlight clip of it on Instagram. And I was like, oh, I feel like a teenager again. This is awesome. 
<laughs> oh, the VMAs are so great. Not in that world, though, right now. But anyway, apparently NSYNC showed up. They were all there presenting an award. Taylor Swift won. It was a whole thing. Of course she won. She won like every award. I'm pretty sure she broke records. Again, that's her job in life is just, just to just break every single record ever. <laughs> and she is doing it. Okay. She's like the Tom Brady of the music. In- she is the music industry. Okay. Anyway, so NSYNC, first of all, NSYNC or Backstreet Boys, you got to tell me, you got to pick a side. Actually, it's hard for me to pick. Growing up, I was totally Backstreet Boys. But as I've grown older, I'm like, well, okay, well, first of all, growing up, I was both. I listened to both. I enjoyed both. It's hard for me to pick a favorite. It's hard for me to pick sides. You know this about me. I'm very fickle, right? I can enjoy and appreciate both sides. And I've, that's how I've been my whole life, okay? So love in sync, love Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys have been touring forever, blah, blah, blah. You tell me if you're more on one side or the other. I know there are some diehard fans out there. So anyway, NSYNC on stage and everyone's like, oh, what is happening? You know, so I heard it through the grapevine, which we might know more by the time this video is posted. (laughs) I don't know. But I heard they're coming out with a movie for troll, not a movie, uh, a song for trolls too, like an NSYNC, like all of them together, which um, I'll be pumped for better be a music video is all I'm saying. But people are wanting like a whole album from them. They're wanting them to go on tour, which would be incredible, right? What's the word that people use when they spend their money these days? They're building the economy. <laughs> Leave them alone. Well, I've seen a meme. It's like, oh, I had some stuff on my pants. I was like, oh, let me just rub this off real quick. I don't know what the heck it was. And it came back. So I don't know. Anyway, so I, I, I have seen the meme going around. That's like uh, me to my husband when I'm, you know, going shopping for Halloween supplies or fall supplies or decorations, whatever, fall decor. I'm I'm saving the economy <laughs> over here. Get off my back about it, right? Anyway, that's how I feel about uh, concerts these days. My gosh, did you guys go to the Taylor Swift concert? By the by, I didn't. Sad to report. I don't know. I got too many babies around here. One of these days, I will see her. Hopefully. Oh my gosh, could you imagine if that never happened? But last time she was in Tampa, uh, it was Halloween. It was on Halloween, and it was a few years ago. Obviously, it was a long time. It might have been her reputation tour. I don't really remember. But obviously, I'm not gonna go to a concert on Halloween. I'd rather go trick-or-treating with my kids, you know. So didn't go to that. Didn't go to this one because, um, my gosh, it's like a million dollars to go. And plus, I had, you know, too many. I have too many littles, okay? One day, hopefully, she'll be touring and I won't have so many littles. Maybe. I don't know. My bigger kids, they're wanting to go, which would have been amazing. So many of their friends went and so many of their cousins went and all this good stuff. But uh, apparently, she's coming to Miami one more time. And my kids are like, can we go? I'm like, I don't think so. (laughs) I don't know. Oh, my goodness. That would be fun. But I don't think it's in the cards for us. Anyway, enough talk about concerts and stuff. That's just what I'm pumped about. NSYNC, I saw a picture of NSYNC together and I was like, oh, what is this? Say more. Tell us what's going on, right? All right. What is going on in your world? In my world, I'm going to tell you something. The kids are back to school. It is full force around here. They've been back to school for a while. I want to say a full month. Woo, it has been a full month. And we're gearing up for Wolfgang's birthday. I stepped in that. Remember when when I showed you the beginning? There was like crap on the floor. Should have wiped it up then. Didn't. And then I stepped on it with my sock. It's one of my biggest pet peeves is to have dry socks. Obviously, they're dry socks. Who puts on wet socks? And then step in something wet. Oh, forget about it. That's the end all. That's a big no for me, dog. You know what I mean? Say, speaking of dogs, speaking of uh, American Idol, because that's Randy Jackson. Hello. He's the one who coined that phrase. That's a no for me, dog. You know what I mean? Anyway, I was thinking about something the other day. It's something I think about all the time. And it's this guy from one of the first seasons of American Idol. And he's like, can you dig it? Can you dig it? (laughs) It's just amazing. And remember back the first couple of seasons where they just had people on that were entertaining. They weren't necessarily great singers, which they don't do anymore, or at least I don't think they do anymore. But um, anyway, so we turned, I was like, I wonder where he is now. Couldn't figure it out. But we did find his audition and we watched it. It was extremely entertaining. It was fantastic. So I would encourage you to just Google 
Can You Dig It? American Idol Audition, <laughs> and it will come up, <laughs> and you're going to have a good time, okay? Oh, that guy. I hope he I hope he figured something out to be on stage doing something because he was a hype man for sure. Anyway, what was I talking about before then? Oh, school. School is in full session, and I know this because I was at their school every day this week, every little day, every little day this week. In the morning, obviously not the entire time, but... Oh, having a lot of kids, you just they've always got something going on. I love it. I love it. But it is time consuming sometimes. And uh, oh, it's all consuming, actually, all the time. <laughs> I'm like always thinking about there's always a form to fill out. There's always somewhere to go. There's always somewhere to be. There's always uh, something to prepare for. There's always homework. Oh, my gosh. Homework. That's another point of contention. OK, so I've been seeing on, you know, social media, people talking about homework and how. OK, OK, so. Two sides to this. One, it's great for reinforcing a skill, right? I My kids do homework. It's not extensive. It is minimal. I would say 30 minutes a day. If it takes more than that, take a break. At mil- sometimes an hour, depending on what it is. For my littler kids, um, 30 minutes, I think, is will suffice, depending on what it is, obviously, okay? If they're... Anyway, so a lot of people are saying for Americans... It's kind of conditioning them to work past office hours. And I would agree with that. It's horrible. It's a horrible tradition. Who decided homework was a thing? I don't know. I've got a love-hate relationship with it. Like if you are keeping on track, yeah, it's unnecessary. I think we're good. Especially if if you're ahead. Like my some of my kids are way ahead. I'm like, is this homework necessary? But it is excelling them maybe that's the reason they're excelling okay because they're getting that little bit of extra practice 15 minutes a day goes a long way is all I'm saying anyway what are what are your thoughts about it might be controversial (laughs) don't make kids do homework I don't know you know what I'm all about reading that's considered homework reading with your kids we do that every day and uh I don't know I just think that's beneficial that's just great good for them good for us Good bonding. Well, it could it could be okay, depending <laughs> depending on if your child's into it or not. All right, I'll digress. So anyway, under my stove, this is where I store my humongo pans, which I got a new one like two months ago. It's been in my trunk for like two months. Those um, fifteen by twenty one inch pans, they're massive. I love them so much. I get them from Amazon, but I found one at Home Goods a couple months ago, and I, it was seven dollars on Amazon. They're like twenty five bucks. So I snagged that thing up. It was exactly the same one I get off Amazon. I know this because it had the same like whoopie pie on it, <laughs> like a picture of a whoopie pie. And I thought, what is that? I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I was like, a whoopie pie. I love a good whoopie pie. Have you ever had a whoopie pie? Oh man, you gotta get find an Amish town around you, and you have to get an authentic whoopie pie. Oh, they have. Oh my gosh! And now I'm making I'm making myself want to make pumpkin whoopie pies. Oh, they're so good. You can make them obviously from scratch, but I have a whoopie pie maker because I got obsessed with whoopie pies at one point and got a whoopie pie maker. <laughs> it's a mini one, so maybe I'll do that soon. Maybe I'll do it for Brownie Friday. I don't know. Okay, now I'm getting ahead of myself. But anyway, if you've ever or if you're ever in need of a whoopie pie, just find either go on Pinterest, get a recipe, I guess, if you have to. But really, if you want an authentic one, mm, full chef's kiss. It's like a portable cake. What's not to love? Actually, have you seen those Oreo? I don't know what they're called. Oreoers or Oreo something. Cakesters? Cakesters. I feel like that's probably what they're called. They sell those. I've had the golden ones before, like, I don't know, literally 15 years ago. Um, I, but I saw them on the shelf the other day. I was like, I th- were, did these ever go away or did I just ignore them <laughs> for 15 years? They're fantastic. That's the closest thing I've gotten to a packaged whoopie pie. So if you're if you're looking around, look around for those, okay? Anyway, got the crumbs out. So those were our mats, by the way, our table mats that we put out for dinner every night. We eat on them. And if they get spills on them, we launder them. And if they don't have anything on them, we just throw them back in the drawer like it's no big deal. Well, sometimes they do have stuff on them and um, obviously like a grain of rice and it gets shoved in the drawer and whatever, you know. 
So that's how that drawer gets messy. And then the pan drawer, don't ask me. I don't know. It's just a bunch of crap that comes off the pans. Sometimes, most of the time, it's me. It's like, oh, I just used that pan, but oh my gosh, someone's coming over right now. Let me throw it in the drawer and deal with it later. And then the crumbs fall off of it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm the worst human being on planet Earth. But at least my house looked tidy for the time being, you know, (laughs) it's whatever. I get to it when I get to it. So I'm moving on to my silverware drawer, which also had crumbs. Yes. You know, this stuff happens. And I don't really know how it happens in the silverware drawer. Like, are you just grabbing silverware with crap on your hands? What's happening here? But it happens all the time. Um, It's honestly not too bad in the silverware drawer because I think this is maybe the second time. Maybe once a year I clean this drawer out. Should I do it more than that? I don't know. I don't. So it's fine. It's good enough. And that's our motto over here at Kim's Cleaning Service at your service. It's good enough. And we only clean but what can be seen. And drawers can be seen when you have guests over and they're like, oh, where's a spoon? You know, and then you got to tell them where the silverware drawer is. (laughs) So for me, I'm thinking already, it's baking season, everybody. Hey, ho, it's baking season. Let's go. It's baking season. It's my time to shine. Food Network, where you at? Man, I love baking season. Let's be real. Every day is baking season at my house. Every season is baking season at my house. Yes, I love it. But this is the real, it's the real deal baking season. It's the holidays. Oh, is that a bad word already? Are you excited for the holidays? It's coming up. It's rearing its head. I know some of you are like, no, please don't talk. It's coming up. I know it doesn't feel like it because it's 125 degrees outside. We had an event at my kid's school the other day. It was it was a breakfast thing, so it was early in the morning. And man, we were still sweating, sitting there at the table eating our muffins, just dripping <laughs> in sweat. Oh, it's so hot out, you know? It's September. What's happening? I mean, obviously. I'm in Florida, so we only have two seasons hot and really, really freaking hot. But that's how it goes. I've moved on to the bathroom and uh, this just needed a wipe down. Look at all this autumn decor, all this. There's like three things, <laughs> but it's perfect. It's the perfect little touch and I love it. I love the little touches and really I'm thinking of going to Home Goods today. Okay, I've been seeing, well, somebody stopped me, honestly, because I shouldn't be going. I should be packing for our trip, but I... I'm thinking, oh, I surely I have an hour to just browse around Home Goods and see what I can find. You know, it's the the what do they call it? A rabbit hole, a black hole of Instagram. So I'm scrolling at night early in the morning, you know, when I'm putting Wolfgang to sleep and I see all the I see so much stuff. And when I talk to other people, they see different stuff than me. You know, it's the algorithm. But then I think, man, how much are you missing out on because you don't see what I see, (laughs) you know? And so I feel like I just need to share with everyone. But I recently did an ice cream board, got that idea off of Instagram. I've been seeing the caramel apple boards. That's on my fall bucket list. And so I have so many ideas reeling up here. Ooh, see what I did there? Reeling. They're reeling up here. I've been trying to make more reels. I don't know how it's going. You guys let me know if you're enjoying it or not. And um, so I have so many ideas to do, so many things. But I also have to reel it in and think what's practical, what is functional. Like, I don't need all this extra, you know. Need is subjective as well. (laughs) But I did end up getting this s'mores maker. I'm looking behind me because I got it off Amazon probably... I don't know, a few weeks ago, it's been sitting here just staring at me. We wanted to make some more. Well, I always want to make some mores all winter long. But Alex isn't a huge fan of fire. Like he likes the fire. But with the kids, he gets really worried about them burning themselves, obviously. Oh, my gosh. I just found Wolfgang's other shoe. I've been looking all over for that. It was behind my printer. What the heck? Okay, so found that. That's good. That's good. And some mores. And the thing I found... I mean, you'll see it. I'll share it eventually, but it's kind of flameless. So I think it'll be okay. We'll we'll have to just see how effective it is and I'll let you know if it's worth it or not. But it looks pretty cool. I've seen other people use it, but can't really trust people on the internet. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm going to give it a whirl for myself and I'll give you my honest opinion. 
Uh, all right. So I am tidying up Wentworth's room. And, you know, man, this this is real blurry. Did I even watch this while I was editing it? I'm the worst. All right, there it goes. Well, kind of. I'm walking in and out. Anyway, this dresser, I cleaned it. Oh, my gosh, the lines in this thing. I was like, this is a pretty nice dresser, okay? It used to be in his closet. If you don't know, the addition is still not done. It was supposed to be done literally a year ago. I don't even want to talk about it. But they are without a closet because that's part of the transition. Oh, it's whatever. But they're without a closet, so that's why they have a bunch of excess in their bedrooms. They're dealing with it. <laughs> the best the best we can right um so I'm just tidying up Wentworth's room really quick obviously right now all the kids are at school but uh did your parent ever clean your room while you were at school and then you came home and you were like wow this is so nice <laughs> come home to a clean room uh, I just I like to do that for my kids I think it's something special it certainly doesn't happen every day but I lo- I would love to come home to a clean room who wouldn't hands up Hands up for real. That should be a thing. Now I'm thinking, is there a service for that? Oh, I guess a cleaning service. (laughs) Kim's cleaning service at your service. You can hire me. I'll clean your room. And then when you get home that day, you'll be like, wow, it's clean. Oh. Anyway, okay. His room is done. So let's move on to... I don't know what's next. I did his bathroom. Oh, that's right. The living room. And yes, I'm watching Gilmore Girls. And by watching, I mean it's on in the background. And I probably missed an entire season. Don't know what's going on. But I'll I'll catch glimpses here and there. I'm at this season where it like just wrecked the car. Spoiler alert. He left town. It's a whole thing. It's sad. Oh, you know what I'm putting in my diffuser? Um, Churro. The Magic Candle Company fragrance oil is churro and I've been enjoying that one it's like a cinnamony sugar scent but not too cinnamony and not not too sweet it's actually the perfect blend I don't know how to explain it I'm not like a sweets kind of gal when it comes to fragrances but I sure do enjoy this one also love pumpkin king and hocus pocus those are my top fall scents I have a few others but poison apple is pretty good actually really good if you like the apple sense. Oh, yep. There you see him on the screen. Jess, this is the picnic, the uh, picnic basket episode. Suki, so underrated. <laughs> Let's just watch Gilmore Girls together. Am I going to get copyrighted? Right. Copywritten. Am I going to get a copyright strike? There we go. That's how we say that. If that's on, I don't know. Man, I might have to re-edit this. Anyway, so... Gilmore Girls is on. I'm trying to just tidy up and a ton of books in the living room always, which is, you know, pros and cons. Obviously, we want to read a bunch, but they get everywhere. They get everywhere. I want my uh, my fourth grader in her classroom. They have this really adorable book stand bookcase. It is circular and it you know, it rotates. You can spin it, you know, it's on an axis, axle. And I saw it when I was exploring her classroom and I thought, oh my gosh, I need one of these. So either upstairs in the, okay, well, okay, for either or here, should I get one of those that like rotates and it looks cool, cute, it's functional, it's cool, it's tall, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's very like slim and tall, right? Or I saw on Instagram, I was really influenced by someone who has those book walls and so upstairs in the playroom we have kind of an empty wall right when you walk up there I can get those shallow shelves from Ikea and you know what I mean it takes up the whole wall and you can just top to bottom put like eight layers of books you know what I mean it'll be a whole dang library up there a couple things wrong with that is the kids are gonna pull them down I guess they'll pull him down off anyone. And by kids, I mean Wolfgang for sure, okay? That's the phase he's in right now, just pulling on everything, exploring. That's how he learns. He's like, oh, what does this do? Cool, let me pull this out. So anyway, either or. But then I feel like if I have something that displays the books, because the person I, I saw do this, obviously for every season they have this special Like they have Halloween books right now and then they're going to have Christmas books out. Do you know what I mean? And I just don't, it's not for me right now because 
I'm not that put together yet, <laughs> but maybe in the future, if not now, when really, let's just say that. But so maybe, maybe I answer my own question. The tall rotating one, that's probably more my, t- my style. All right. I've moved to the girls bathroom and such great news on the day that I was cleaning, they came in with the countertop for the new the new bathroom. I took a picture of it. Not the whole thing. I just gave you a sneak peek of what the countertops looked like on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, I show a lot of stuff there. Okay. And I show a lot of, a lot of stuff here too. So no worries. I don't think you're ever going to miss out. I mean, you might miss out. I don't know. I don't share every, I try not to like double dip, but for, for uh, reels, it definitely happens. I just started doing that though. So get off my back. Okay. Anyway, so the countertops came in, the vanities in, uh, what else came? Oh, the faucets. He drilled holes for the faucets. I changed my mind on all of that last minute. And so the faucets were in, in the nick of time. Literally they came in today and he showed up today and I thought amazing timing. And then I got different pulls. I got, uh, mirrors. I got everything. Okay. So you'll, oh, that's the, the, Hey, speak of the devil. Those were the faucets that came in. Oh my gosh. I'm glad. I'm happy with the choice, the final decision. And yeah, we'll see how it looks when it's all together. Okay, really, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. But I really like the bathroom too. The one that I was just cleaning, how that turned out. I just switched out some towels, some artwork and the shower curtain and boom, it's like a whole new space in there. It just takes a little, uh, you know, finagling sometimes. Oh, I kicked that light switch. And I was like, oh, please don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. I know my feet are dirty. Cleaned it up. No worries. Get off my back. <laughs> I should label this. Get off my back. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning here. And uh, this is my bathroom. Dumping ground. Hey, I didn't show you my closet, but it's actually in pretty good shape. You would be proud of me, I think. I just needed to tidy this space up. And I don't know why it bugs me, but when there are a bunch of... bunch of Well, first of all, the bottles in the shower. Oh my gosh, please. There are three shelves in there. And that is not one of them. I don't want to see the bottles up there. I eventually move them. And then on my counter, on my bathroom counter, I have a very large space up there. It could easily be cluttered. The only things I like keeping out on the counter is like my face wash, flossers, because I have found if you keep the flossers on the counter, uh, sometimes 50% of the time you will guilt trip yourself into using them. Just 50% for me anyway. (laughs) I could floss more than I do. Only floss the teeth you want to keep is what my dad used to tell me. And uh, this season of life, I'm like literally survival mode. I would say one notch above survival mode at this point, but still doing my best, still hanging in there. And uh, flossing is just like, uh, I sometimes I don't even have time to wash my face at night because like the baby needs me. And the baby won't sleep off of me. And well, and there's that. Okay. Anyway, the only thing I like to keep on my counter is the mirror and then my glasses. And then for whatever reason, I keep uh, my camera battery in here. I have found that my kids don't bother it when it's in here for whatever reason. If it's elsewhere, they'll like take the battery. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Leave my stuff alone. Can't I just have nice things? No, I can't. Sometimes I can, but not that. I don't know. Anyway, the bathroom, it just needed my attention. I didn't really do a deep clean in here, mostly because, my gosh, it would have been nice if I did a deep clean, but whatever. There's always tomorrow. We, I mean, hopefully, right? But I thought as long as it looks fine, only clean what can be seen. What you can't see, what's unseen right now, are all of the toys at the bottom of the bathtub that I was too lazy to pick out. (laughs) I only put, like there's a pink duck or something. I only put that in the toy bin, which is fine. Oh my gosh, speaking of toy bin for the bathtub, what do you guys do for your kids in the bathtub? My kid, okay, first of all, Wolfgang loves the water. Shouldn't be surprised. He loves the bath. He gets wild and crazy, okay? But um, Uh, obviously kids just love the bath. And so to make it extra fun for them, and I feel like I did this kind of special stuff for when I had just one or two kids. Um, 
And I would make bath time like so fun. And they had all the cool gadgets and all the cool gizmos and what's its galore. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? In the bathtub, right? And they had the foam. They had the color tabs. They had all the cool gadgets. And I recently saw on Instagram, you guys, it pushes. It knows exactly what I'm looking for. Our phones listen to us. It's actually kind of strange and creepy, but sometimes convenient, okay? But some lady had literally the cool, like I wanted to take a bath. I hate baths, but I would want to go in there. It looked like such a fun little theme park. And then at the end of the video, she shut the lights off she, and she had like a, a stargazer in there. I was like, this is top notch, supreme. Uh, what's the admission price <laughs> for this, you know? So anyway, actually, Eleanor the other day had a friend over. They were in their bathing suits, but they did uh, a bunch of stuff in our bathtub too. And they had one of those like the lights, the strobe lights in there with all the colors and stuff. So yeah, you know what? There's no age limit on a fun bath. And this lady had all the fun accessories. And it just made me think, oh, maybe I should do that <laughs> for my kids. Maybe I should do something fun for them. I mean, we do fun stuff all the time, but you know what I'm talking about. Speaking of fun stuff all the time, the trip that we're going on, we're going to Disney. We have, uh, you know, one more day there and then we have one more day. Well, a couple more day passes, but we're going to use one more. We're just doing two days because my gosh, it's so hot. I don't think we can endure more than that at a water park, one of the Disney water parks. And we're pumped about it. I say that with a question mark. Last time we went, it was just so hot, even at the water park. I'm like, are we, is it time to go yet? <laughs> But the kids love it so much. So one, one hoorah, okay, before the passes expire. They expire on Wolfgang's birthday. So we kind of made it like his, his birthday celebration kind of thing. And then we ended up uh, deciding it was time for a party anyway. So we are going to throw him a little party and we're, we're pumped about it. I say that with a question mark as well. It'll be great. In my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's only a few days away. So much to do, so much to say. So what's wrong with taking the back street? Back street? So what's wrong with taking the... That's not right. So what's wrong with taking the back street? That is right. You never know if you don't go. What? You never shine if you don't glow. Hey, hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Go. I'll stop. But if you want to continue, you go ahead. I would love to. Man, that is such a classic. Who sings that? I forgot. Smash Mouth? All Star? All Star is what it's called. Man, they don't make tunes like that anymore. They don't. I feel like an old, you know, older person when I say they don't make music like they used to. <laughs> you know. All right. Moving on. I'm just doing the dishes, you guys. Are you cleaning your house or are you just hanging out? getting some motivation to do that. I will tell you something. I came back to this kitchen several times to like finish the task because if I'm in the same area, you know, it just, it's, it's whatever. But I came back to this and I, my house is so clean right now. I'm like nobody touch anything. Okay. Because I love it when it's like this. I love when I can just look around and there, the clutter is not there and clean counter spaces and wow, this will not last forever. So I just have to soak it in while it happens. And I clean my floors, guys. When I tell you it's probably been a week since I cleaned my floors, oh my heck, a week? I, you know, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> it's been a week since I've done it, but obviously Alex sweeps in between and then we have that robot vacuum and that does, oh my gosh, that does such a great job too. It, you know, and it does like a five out of five job, five out of five, whatever it does. It does a good job. It picks up a lot of crap, but, um, mopping is just a, on a different level. So then I'm thinking, wow, should I return this and get the robot mop vacuum? But those are so expensive. I don't know. I've heard great things about it. I just don't want to spend the money on it. So uh, I did use my Bissell today to like mop and mop sweep vacuum. It's like the trio. And I love it. I think it does such a great job. And whenever I'm done with the floor, like I can have everything in my house clean. But if the floors are dirty, I'm like, Ugh, you know, so that's like my favorite thing when I clean the floors. It just makes everything feel so much fresher. And the fact that 
uh, I think you saw in my last video or a couple videos ago that I cleaned the pantry and my fridge. So I'm feeling real fresh. My laundry room is, you know, a different story. It's not the worst. I've seen worse for sure. But I don't know why I got so aggressive there. I've seen worse. Tell me. I'm telling you right now. It's not as bad as it looks. Not that you care. I don't even think I showed it to you. I'm getting real defensive about my laundry room. It's fine. If we're wearing clothes, we're getting them dirty and we're having laundry, you know? It's that old mindset shift, you know? It's like, ooh, you should be thankful you have dishes. That means you had food to eat. All that good stuff. So here, here it is, the star of the day. Wolfgang, <laughs> just kidding. The Bissell, this Bissell, oh, worth its weight in gold, I tell you. It was half the price of the Roomba, but it doesn't go on its own. <laughs> and people often ask me what kind of solution I use. I just use the, um, it, it's Bissell, it's for the cross wave, which is what this is called, the Bissell cross wave. And wait for a sale, okay? Don't buy it without a sale. But I buy the sanitizer one, And it's for hardwood and tile, I think. It's like multi-surface. And then, of course, I go over the carpets, too, because I don't give a hoot or a hoot nan. I don't give a hoot or a nan. (laughs) Okay, so when I tell you my floors are gross, I'm not exaggerating. I'm sure you can understand. And I have a crawling baby. And so it really gets me when he's crawling around sometimes I will say like he'll he'll it'll look like I'll be like oh my gosh your feet are dirty you know from dragging him around anyway he's fine and then we just clean some stuff oh gosh everybody my phone's going off sorry if you thought that was you you don't have friends that's just me (laughs) I'm just kidding about that too you do have friends I'm your friend thanks for being here thanks for hanging out with me thanks for cleaning with me and this is called Body doubling, Dawn from the Minimal Mom, she calls it body doubling when you just have someone to clean with and have someone to, you know, do life with. And I'm glad you're here doing it with me. So Gilmore Girls, yes, is still on in the background. I'm trying to get as much of it in as I can, even though the vacuum's on, literally can't hear anything, not even looking, but... I know it's on because my heart of hearts, I can feel it that it's on. And that's good enough for me. What's your go-to show? This, I don't think I've watched this show in probably 10 years. Except for, I feel like a few years ago, they came out with the seasons. Like the Gilmore Girls, like kind of a reboot, but there were only four installments to it. And oh my gosh, I so enjoyed those. But I, I didn't like, you know gear up for them so I feel like watching all of the seasons and then re-watching those seasons the season oh gosh I'm not making any sense the seasons they did like spring summer fall winter or something like that I don't really know but it was something like that probably they only did fall and winter or something (laughs) or something 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 and so I feel like watching the show and gearing up for it. I'm going to enjoy them even more. Did you see that? I was doing squats. They say cleaning isn't a workout. Who says that? Actually, I've never heard anyone say that. I've only heard people say that it is, (laughs) which is true. Move your body in whatever way you feel like you need to. Okay, so what's your go-to show that you turn on? This is mine right now, and I'm really enjoying it. I am missing out on some YouTubes because normally I would have like YouTube playing in the background, but... Uh, I don't know. I've just been throwing this on. It's been fantastic. And really, I don't watch a lot of TV. I do watch The Bachelor. Oh my gosh, Golden Bachelor is coming on. You guys, I haven't, I missed this season and I feel like I missed last season. I really like Bachelor in Paradise, so I hope I make time for that, but I probably won't. I can barely even sit down long enough to watch a football game. I get like 10 minutes at a time, maybe, and that's not even sitting. It's like me standing up, rocking a baby. You know what I mean? Unless the baby is sleeping. It's like, why do they have football games at 8.30 at night? What? I got to put the kids to bed. I got so much to do at 8.30 at night. And then we'll try to like put them to bed and then come out and then they're not fully asleep and they're like, oh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> so, not our season of life for football games, I guess. We're doing our, our best, but we would like to be able to watch a movie or football or whatever for more than 10 minutes, please. But also, you know, I got a bunch of kids. And I got to deal with them. That's my job in life. 
All right. Cleaning the floors. I finish up in Meredith's room, which was actually pretty tidy. And I think what bothered me the most is that you'll see when I go in there in a second, there's a drawer open and I didn't shut it. And so I was uh, leaving the house earlier today and I looked at her room, obviously. Can you believe that one day this room is going to be my office? Oh my gosh, I can barely imagine it. I started imagining it while I was doing the floors and I thought, am I going to have a rug in here? I don't even know. Where's my desk going to go? I did buy a fireplace literally a year ago. I It was like secondhand, obviously I had to jump on it. It's in our garage. It's probably ruined by now, but I mean, maybe not. I don't know, but I'm thinking fireplace on the back wall, couple chairs on the left, my desk to the right. It could be something. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully soon, maybe by the new year, fingers crossed, but that's it. That's the damage we did. Thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out. Don't forget to check out Blue Land. You can get 15% off of your first kit that you buy. And I'll see you next time. Bye.